Alrighty guys, this is going to cover the cost of a DIY solar system that I put in and it will run, it's big enough to run my whole house. This inverter, it's a hybrid inverter, um, it's 18,000 watts is what it can produce, which is a lot of power. Basically, I have everything in my house on it except our oven and range, our clothes dryer, our dishwasher, um, mainly the dishwasher I could have put on it, but we usually run that at night and that would be a draw, a draw on the batteries. Um, the oven, obviously, it draws a lot of power, um, so I left that on the commercial. Um, and then the clothes dryer, it draws a lot also, so I left that on the commercial power. Um, so what a hybrid inverter is, is it runs off of um, the battery bank right here. Okay, that's five 100 amp batteries, um, amp hour batteries. So 500 amp hour batteries that are all bonded together. Um, the inverter runs off of those. Okay, and when there's not enough sun out for the charge controllers, these are charge controllers. Those limit the amount of power that's fed to these batteries once the batteries are full. Um, so once they're full, those take over and regulate the amount of DC power coming from the solar panels, how much it pushes out to the batteries. Okay. So when the solar does not produce enough power, the inverter has a built-in battery charger. So from the commercial power, the breaker in that box, there's some wires that could come in here and feed this machine. When there's not enough sun and these batteries get depleted, or close to being depleted, this charger kicks in and starts charging the batteries via commercial power. So basically, this is a backup, like a backup generator. This thing will run um, with these batteries with no input with no solar input or no commercial power, these batteries will run my house for about 15 hours. Yeah, there's a lot of batteries. That's um, about $5,000 worth of batteries. Um, but if I had another rack of batteries there, you know, you usually get probably 25, 30 hours of, of full service in my house. And I can tell you, my house is all electric. We have a hot tub on this thing. We have all the all of the houses on this except for what I talked about, including the shop, and including the hot tub. Um, we have a three bedroom, two bath house. We also have a water well, so we have a pump that runs off of that. We have multiple pumps for irrigation. We have pumps for the koi pond. All of it running off of this inverter. So, like right now, this inverter is running at 15 percent of what it can do. So right now, there's not a lot on I know I got a couple pumps on, running the koi pond, whatever's in the house. There's not much dry right now. But the inverters, or these charge controllers, this charge controller right now, it's not, real, not really sunny out right now, but this one charge controller is producing 31 amps of DC power. So 31, and there's four of them, so let's figure... That's, uh, what is that, 125 amps of DC power going into these batteries, charging them right now. And you can see they're almost full. They're working, um, almost being full. I'll show you how much light we have outside. Oops, <laughs> watch out for that fridge. See, there's, the sun's behind the clouds right now. So there's, I mean, it's pretty good for a cloudy day getting that much power out of this. Um, in the winter time, when it's raining all day, or snowing obviously, then commercial power charges this. And I'll tell you right now, with commercial power charging this, um, it takes, I don't know, maybe four hours. There's actually a dial back here. You can turn the, this up and down for how much power you want to send through this to charge the batteries. I have it turned down to minimum, so if it does kick in and starts charging these batteries, once the sun comes up, those will also kick in and charge the batteries. So the less you put on this, the more apt you are for the sun to come up and start doing it if it were to die in the middle of the night. Um, if you know the batteries were to, to get depleted middle of nighttime, which happens because, I'm like I said, it's, our house is all electric. We have wall cadet heaters in every room and um, the hot water uh, heater runs 
so I can get up, take a shower of hot water, and then the uh, hot tub runs like at five o'clock in the morning at five o'clock at night on economy mode. Um, so anyway, guys, this system with 32 550 watt panels. This is a 48 volt system. The panels, like I said, there's 32 of them. They're 550 watts a piece. They can create about 17. Thousand to eighteen thousand watts per hour um, that these charge controllers can to put into these batteries. Um, they, they they work great. They're all Sun Gold. All my system is Sun Gold power, which I'm very happy with. But my system, I bought everything, is about twenty two thousand dollars that we spent on this. But like I said, it's big. It's I decided if I was going to do it, I wasn't going to go small. I was going to go big and do it right. Um, Anyway, um, that you know that includes the secondary sub panel that all the solar stuff runs into, um, all the breakers and all the stuff I got here, about twenty two thousand dollars. Now, if you'd have a company put this in, you're probably thirty five, forty, fifty thousand. Um, our roof is all our panels are up on the roof. There's thirty two of them. Um, it's a five or six twelve roof. And I just put them flat on the 612 pitch. Um, they just work fine. I, they're supposed to be a little a little more of a pitch, more like a um, 45 degree for where we are. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Got any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, these are like in Sun Gold. I'll put links on all of our equipment in the description. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.